Right, guys, I've been video. My old pressure switch is messed up. It was reading, uh, it went through and was reading 54 pounds and then even running. So I zeroed it out. I might have get a sense when I go over to Nigel's. He said it must have took a uh, a hit when we turn around and down. Watch out, let's fire this thing up real quick. I had them crunk it to back it in the building. Like I said, I had it outside, so that's why the temperature's already a little bit warm. Let's fire it up real quick. Guys. Hook up my uh, charge pipe. Got that unhooked. Got the one unhooked from the throttle body, but it's running at least. Went ahead and cut off that end piece. Got that Pro Chassis and Fab mount. Thanks to old Scotty Seals. If y'all need anything, hit him up. Look him up on Facebook. Got a Facebook page. Scotty Seals. Pro Chassis and Fab. We appreciate you, sir. That's why when you get scared, look at it. It even bent that rod. Jake over here, Jake from State Farm. Look at him right here welding us up. Comment, gonna, gonna welding Com hey, <laughs> comment below and tell Jake thank you about welding this all stuff for us. We got John over here building some mounts for radiator. I'll show y'all the process. We got this guy in here. Don't be, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. He's fixing to make it all loud. Put a bung there on the water pump, put that there. We also come over here and we welded the, the tubal ports up right there. We welded them up so that way they can't never leak again. We got the radiator in here. John's going through building mounts for it right now. So we can uh, straighten it out. I got the master cylinder piece over there. We got to weld it up to brace it up before I bend it back out. But we got us a race car. This thing's going to be ready tomorrow. Can't wait. As long as it don't rain, looking good coming back together. Proud moments. All right, guys. Well, didn't video much. I ain't had time to video. I ain't had time to answer the phone or nothing. Just trying to get done. We're leaving over here at Nigel's. He's locking the place up. Here it is. Uh, <coughs> eight o'clock. He stayed after. Jake got a lot done for me today. Welded up. Nigel done a lot. John done a lot. So all we have left to do is hook the radiator hoses up. I gotta build them in the morning. I gotta wire my fans, put my headlights in it, put my tail lights in it. And uh, I got a boost leak test. Now boost leak test and it has a heck of a leak on the intake. So in the morning, I'm gonna pull the intake up off of it and uh, see about getting some different gaskets and put on it just to get that leak fixed. But other than that, other than the leak, I had to put some cooling in it and run it for a minute. We got us a race car. Gotta change the O2 sensor out on it. It ain't reading, but Nigel had one, so I'm gonna change it out in the morning. So I gotta plug the fans up, build the hose, build the uh, radiator hoses. I gotta change the tires in the morning. I'm gonna pull the back wheels off of it and take it up to uh, Hamptons, and I'll change the back tires out and get the tires swapped out on it or whatnot. So we get in there, like I said, we bust the ass, but we're getting it done. So there's Colby, appreciate you, Colby. He come over here, Nigel's tonight, and help me out or whatever. Like I said, uh, it ain't a one-man show. There's a lot of people behind me that help me. If it was just me by myself doing it, it'd take me a year to get done what we've already gotten done. Like, the reason why I'm able to get it done as quick as I can is because I got a good group of people that's behind me that help me out. 
Nigel, John, Colby, Nikki, everybody. Fred come over the other day and helped screw head studs out and screw studs back into the motor. I mean, that right there, that, that's a 15, 20 minute job that saves me on time. And if I had to do it by myself, it'd take me 20 minutes longer. So, Fred Chambers, John Setzer from Hickory, he's helped me out with my head up. Bo Lane, that Bob Lane machine shop. Bo Lane got my motor in it quick, got it done. Got the machine work done on it, so me and Nigel can put it together. There's a lot of people that, like I said, that help out behind the scenes that don't get talked about, that I'm appreciative of you. That, uh, that help get this stuff done, but like I said, without, without everybody, we wouldn't be racing tomorrow. I mean, we still might not be racing tomorrow because it's raining. Somebody, somebody be scared right now. They're doing the rain dance. <coughs> they worry. Somebody there. They know. They know that beast is coming. So they trying. They trying. Trying to hold a man down. Can't stand it. But like I said, we we gonna have a race going. We gonna be ready. We're gonna be ready to uh, put this thing in the wind off the trailers. Y'all wish me luck. Like I said, I'm gonna get the tires changed in the morning. I'm gonna get the. Uh, I'll primer up a couple spots, throw the headlights in it, wire them up. I ain't gonna have a wing on it this week. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna worry about putting a wing on it just to take it back off to paint it. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna worry about that. That, that. that stuff takes too long, so I'm not even gonna worry about a wing tomorrow. I'm gonna put the new tail lights, I'm gonna stick them in the one that we got from Kelly, Kelly Hull from uh, Carolina, uh, Carolina Customs on YouTube. Check him out. Like I said, he, uh, he provided me the tail lights, so we're appreciative of that. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it right. We're gonna get it good. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna be ready to race uh, tomorrow. And if that falls out, that'll give me some more time to do some more touch-ups. <coughs> I'm gonna build a new uh, charge pipe for it for the turbo because the turbo's touching it now. So I want to redo that. I don't I don't like it touching, but I don't have no other option right now but to run it. But I want to change. I want to do a little different on the charge pipe. Get that done a little bit different. I want to get the uh, get the valence on the car. This car just don't look right without the valence. It ain't gonna look right without the wing, but we're gonna send it without the wing. What can you say? If uh, if it don't, if we don't race tomorrow, the next race it comes out, it will be painted. It'll be looking right. I'll, I'll get out there and get it painted this weekend. Saturday we got go kart racing. Kate still number one in points. He's got a seven point lead on Addy. So, uh, it's coming down to the wire and he's racing. Y'all wish him luck. Hopefully he can pull it off. If he can't, it's been a great year. Congratulations to them. If not, you know, we, we're humble either way. We're just glad to be out there. So, it's coming down to the wire. Hopefully all is well. And like I said, we got, we got, uh, Outlaw tomorrow, we got to go kart Saturday, and then we got no, I'm going to do a no prep race November 14th at uh, Wiltsboro. That's a race I like to do, so I've already locked in on it, so I locked in on it a while back. So hopefully everything's good. We're getting there. Oh yeah, look at that. Got this little teriyaki chicken. Look, some things ain't never changed. We got something to eat, that's all that matters. Anyways, y'all, please like, share, subscribe, comment. I'll see you one later. Thank you.